In this video, for week 20, I'm going to read you the article, Pygmy Possum Found on Kangaroo Island Nearly One Year After Big Fire. This is a 720 lexile text, so it might be a little bit more challenging than what we're used to. What you'll notice is that I've already numbered the paragraphs for you, and that will help you with the questions that you need to answer on Canvas. I've also underlined some words that are words to know, so let's check those out at the very bottom. In order to better understand this text, you need to know that pygmy is a word that means unusually small, so very small. Australia is a country or continent in the Pacific Ocean, southeast of Asia. The entire continent is one country. It's the only place in the world that's quite like that. A wildfire is a forest fire that is completely out of control, and deficient means not enough or inadequate. So if at any point you forget what those words mean, you can scroll right down to the bottom and check them out. Okay, let's read this article about these cute furry little guys. A pygmy possum has been found on Kangaroo Island off the coast of Australia. The pygmy possum is one of the smallest possums in the world. It might also be one of the cutest. There were fears that the little pygmy possum had disappeared from the island. Huge wildfires called bushfires destroyed the island a year ago. The fires destroyed most of the possum's habitat. A habitat is a natural environment in which an animal lives. Kangaroo Island is big. It measures 440,500 hectares, or 1,088,499 acres, in total area. That's a bit smaller than the state of Delaware. Almost half of Kangaroo Island burned during the fires last year, which is tragic. It's terrible. Conservation groups tried to protect and save things found in nature. The conservation group Kangaroo Island for Wildlife was surveying the island. They wanted to see what animals had survived the bushfire. The group found one little pygmy possum a year after the fires. The find gives scientists hope that others survived too. Pat Hodgins works with the conservation group. He is a fauna ecologist. A fauna ecologist studies the animal life of a particular region. Hodgins says that the pygmy possum's discovery is important. It's the first record of the species surviving after the fire, Hodgins says. The fires burned through about 88%, or almost all of, the possum's predicted range. An animal's range is where it is expected to be found. Hodgins says that the group wasn't sure what the effect of the fires would be, but it's pretty obvious the population would have been pretty severely impacted, he says. The pygmy possum is tiny. It's about the size of an adult human thumb. It weighs around 7 grams. That's as much as 3 pennies. It lives on Kangaroo Island the island of Tasmania, and also in a few places in the mainland of Australia. The possum is difficult to study. That's because of its small size and limited range. Hodgins says there's deficient data on the possum. A data deficiency means that there is little or no information on the animal. We do not know much about how many there are or how they are spread out on the island. Without that information, it's hard to figure out if the animal is at risk of extinction. When an animal goes extinct, it dies out forever, and there are no more of them. But Hodgins is hopeful the pygmy possum will survive on Kangaroo Island. The biggest danger now is feral or wild cats. Feral cats are predators. They eat other animals for food. They have been known to hunt and eat the possums. Hodgins wants the pygmy possums to be around in the future. We owe it to these species to do everything we can to protect them, he said. Now that we've read the article, I want you to go back to the Canvas page, and you're actually going to type the questions in. So they're posted there. You're going to input them as a text entry. It's a little bit different than how we've done this in the past, but I'm confident that you'll be able to figure this out by watching the video direction guide if you need to, and that you're going to do a great job. I'm looking forward to reading what you wrote, and I will talk to you tomorrow.